Well, you don't look like no angel to me, but in a little over 13 hours, DEATH WILL EMBRACE YOU! Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Infinite Omega with me, Black Deatha. We're back here today on Hitman 2 as we count down the last few seconds until the arrival of the Angel of Death. Any second she has beyond that will be on borrowed time. <laughs> she thinks she has nine days. Let's do it. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Etta Davis, also known as the Angel of Death. The target is a retired nurse, believed to have killed dozens of patients in retirement homes and hospitals across Great Britain. Her preferred technique is poison, though in later years, she has begun to prefer blunt weapons and violent accidents such as falls. Ongoing intercepts have tracked her to Marrakesh. This matches profile predictions that she is expanding her hunting grounds now that the net is tightening at home. While the target may look like a harmless old lady, it is certain that she will kill again repeatedly, given the opportunity. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. So, the target today is one Edda Davis. All right, Edda, your ending is nigh. And I'm going to bring my standard uh, loadout, uh, Silver Baller, Requiem Suit, Lockpick, and Electrocution Phone at the standard entrance. Let's give it a go. So, standard elusive target rules apply. They are available only for a limited time. When you complete the mission, you only get the one chance to do it. So if you complete it and get a bad score, you do not get to do it again. If you die, you also do not get to restart. Uh, you can restart as many times as you want prior to actually killing the target. But once you kill the target, that is when you are locked in. Also, if you do find this video helpful, enjoyable, or both, please do leave a like down below. As well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as I will always be covering all the elusive targets for you in the future. Good afternoon, 47. We have been unable to determine the target's specific location, but she resided in the city center a few hours ago. City Whatever center? Do, don't accept a cup of tea from her, 47. Good hunting. Well, city center, that could place her around the cafe or something. I guess let's head in that direction. See if we spot her. I saw them this morning on the rooftop. Really? Again? Not that I am jealous or anything, but I mean, come on, act to your age, right? And the old lady, she looks like something out of one of those investigating granny novels. Those what? That lovely little old English lady, the one who is always solving murders. Come on, it's a classic. Why do all those people hate the Swedes all of a sudden? You haven't seen the news? <laughs> what? Okay, that conversation yeah, took dead. an abrupt turn. But before it went off the rails, uh, they were talking about an old lady with the headmaster. Now that's interesting because the headmaster doesn't ever have an old lady there. So I'm wondering if that conversation is uh, specific to this uh, target. Let's actually just head over there and take a look. So the main question is, is there anything different right now? Well, someone just went inside and... Okay, there's definitely more people up front. Yeah, there's soldiers here. Sorry, sir. Can't pass through here. Sir, you heard him. Please leave the area. Uh, that is definitely not normal, aside from the ones that are standing over by the steps. Uh, what's going on here? People going upstairs. Now, there is someone up there. That doesn't look like the Headmaster's silhouette. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm willing to say I think we found the target. Uh, the problem is this guard won't let us up there, so we can't even hear what's going on. I'm just going to wait for a bit. I want to see if the guard leaves or anything, giving us an opportunity to go upstairs. Hey, so I've been waiting suit. around a couple minutes to see wow. if anything happens. I was kind of hoping that maybe eventually the soldiers would leave, but it doesn't really look like anything is happening. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Okay, they seem to actually be on the move. She's coming downstairs. Okay, well, okay, let's see where this leads. I mean, maybe we can kill her easy on the street somehow. Love the white suit, but for safety reasons, I can't let you through here, sir. Sorry. Wait, what? What, what do you mean, safety reasons? Wh whose safety? Mine? Yours? The targets? Uh, scratch that last part, I never said that. But it's due to my suit, you say? Dude, you need to make more sense. None of this makes any sense at all. Well, hey, mister. How's it going? <laughs> what the hell? You don't sound very old. Or British, for that matter. 
Well, no matter. You're gonna be dead soon anyway. So where are you off to? Okay, so she goes around the other side of this thing, so couldn't really kill her with the puddle. And honestly, now that I tested out that the uh, electrocution keeps happening, not sure that'd be a good idea because we'd probably kill a bunch of other people and not get the silent assassin anyway. The thing I'm wondering is why in the hell does she have an armed military escort in the first place? Because I mean, to them, she must just be some old bag. And they're not there seemingly uh, trying to arrest her, so obviously they have no idea of like her uh, status as a serial killer. So yeah, it just it makes no sense why they're with her. In a lot of elusive targets, when they have security, it's either, you know, like a gang or it's uh, their private security they've hired. Generally speaking, when they're a criminal, they don't have the military protecting them. So I don't really understand that. Hey, that's almost assault. Get out of here. Shut up. Dear Mr. Cohen, always said I'd enjoy traveling. <laughs> and he was quite right. Oh, those colorful lamps, Colonel. You know. They remind me of a wonderful stained glass chandelier I saw once. So heavy it was, too. Oh, wow, that and was such so a noise when it came fire. down. Well, it's a local design that the tourists <laughs> like a lot. Oh my, look at the time. We should really be off. Uh, I suppose we could go with you. I mean, for a bit longer. Okay, what is with that voice? Hey, she sounds a little bit older now, but like also like she's trying to do a British accent that is really bad at it. And as well, of course, she's talking about how like she apparently killed someone with a chandelier at one point. I just want to see where she's gonna go next. Oh, are you gonna maybe go in the cafe and sit down? Uh, oh, no, she's just gonna stand in the middle of the street. Okay, that's useful. Okay, okay, I have other things. Uh, Dude, what are you blathering on about? Like, I have gold necklaces. Your wife, yes, or maybe your lover. <laughs> yes, you, you know what I mean. Okay, I was hearing this guy the rambling like an idiot, but I couldn't figure out what he was talking about. I thought it was the guard talking, but I just realized it's this bald moron behind him. <laughs> okay, now she's decided to come over to this slightly more secluded area of the market. Yeah, keep going further into alleys and stuff, then we might actually have a chance to kill you. What is this, then? My poor first husband. He took such a terrible spill down the stairs and Look, landed on sir, carpet just die for you. like this. All kinds of is that right, Mom? That's old tragic. Old and like here so I am, Very hush -hush, keeping you from okay? your important no. business. Perhaps just one more shot? Yes, Mom. It's not so, as if we have a coup to foil or anything. Birds. Like those exotic endangered species. <laughs> Doesn't even seem like the colonel so wants the to be kingdom. there. What the hell? Are you the same guy from before or just an identical NPC? Either way, I don't care. Piss off. Okay, so now where the hell is she going? Oh, she's just going to stand in that exact same spot again. What the hell? Okay, I was hoping she'd go somewhere more secluded. Yeah, come, on, come with me. Come with me. You won't regret it. Please. Please. I have a good price for you. I thought we were friends. Okay, buddy, A, I have a pretty vivid imagination, but I cannot come up with a scenario in which I would picture you having friends. And B, if I were to go anywhere with you, I would make sure that you would regret it. Now piss off. Oh, hey, Etta, finally, you're going to the cafe, so maybe we can uh, find a way to kill you in here. Uh, apparently not. With this guy following us around, it's actually reminding me, I'd, I'd kind of forgotten in Tanakh, because it was a couple of years ago, but in Season 1, in Marrakesh, I guess it was shortly after the map first came out, there was some idiot NPC who would follow you around all the time. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it might have been that guy, because I sort of remember the uh, brownish or orangish colored uh, garb he thing he's wearing. So, I don't know, I guess it must have been a bug, because it doesn't happen anymore on the map. But I do remember that from uh, a couple years ago. So yes, I, I don't know what the hell. Like I guess the uh, elusive target carried over that bug. We have seen uh, traces of weird stuff happening uh, in other elusive targets that are legacy ones. So I'm guessing that's what this is. But it is also really annoying. Kind of funny, but really annoying. Oh, are you actually maybe headed back to the headmaster's place now, or not? Looking to buy a new cell phone. sort of shop or thing this is. I do miss the days where a telephone was a solid thing with a bit of strong cord on it. Do you remember those? Oh, but how do you... Uh, what do old people do with phones? Ah, oh, well. 
<laughs> oh, I like this girl. Day, Colonel. But there are so many things to see. Shall we? Shouldn't you be uh, getting back? I suppose not. Off we go then. <laughs> so apparently she's bashed someone's head in with an old rotary dial. And seriously, guard, what the hell hold does she have on you? Now you listen here, you old bag. I won't stand idly by while you besmirch the good name of modern cell phones. They can kill you just as good as anything. Here, check this one out. Actually, don't, because I'm not, I'm not going to actually use that this way. But if I wanted to, that thing would have you dead in seconds flat. <laughs> oh, come on. You're back again? Oh, great. Oh, I thought we'd finally got rid of this guy. This woman is seriously scatterbrained. Every time she goes to one of the shops, she always heads back here afterwards, like it's her staging ground or something. Just go somewhere where there's like an accident kill opportunity or something. Jesus. Oh, whoa, that thing is so white. <laughs> this is the guy wearing white. Oh, heavens. If only my dear sainted husband lost. could see this. Never trust anyone who doesn't wear a proper hat, Colonel. Present company accepted, of course. <laughs> yeah, indeed, madam. There's still so much to see. Let's be off. Of course. There's literally nothing I'd rather do. <laughs> Maybe if we do nothing, this guard has to hang around with this idiot for long enough, he'll just kill her himself. Of course you're coming over here. <laughs> Look now, it's like two people that need to be killed, posing for a group photo. If only Gladys were here to see this, she'd never believe it. Oh, nothing like a fruit market in North Africa. The colors, the aroma, the flavors. I don't know if they have any Zaluk. If they do, you should try it. Well, I certainly shan't be buying anything here. I can tell you that much. Uh, I suppose we could go with you. I mean, for a bit longer. <laughs> I shan't be buying anything here! Apparently the guard takes to mean that he has to continue following her. Okay, idiot, I'm gonna tell you this one time only. If you follow me to the next place, I'm going to kill you on principle alone. Get away from me, you creep. What happened to your accent? Oh, and now we're back to the lamps again. Okay, I'm really not seeing much opportunity down here in the street. I think we're gonna restart and... Oh! Well, look who's back. Oh, buddy, I warned you. I warned you. And you know what? This this will uh, give a valid demonstration as well. Edda, I want you to pay attention to this. I want you to see what a cell phone can do. Hey, uh, bald moron, uh, look at this. Uh, here's a here's a nice phone for you because we're friends. Yeah, friends. Pick it up. Maybe someone will even call you. Maybe it'll be a second friend. <laughs> oh, that, that 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 at least feels cathartic. I told you to piss off. Okay, let's restart this. Good afternoon, forty-seven. So since we know we she starts over here, to let's turn here right away. Specific location, but she was sighted in the city center a few hours ago. Whatever you do, don't accept a cup of tea from her, forty-seven. Good hunting. So, what time did he give us again? I believe you talked to the former headmaster yourself, sir. Yeah, well, we better wait a few minutes more. He's a big fish around here, mind you. He must have taught half the children in the neighborhood. Honestly, I'm still a little bit afraid of him, sir. Sure, he was handy with the cane. But I don't hold a grudge against him. Those were different times, right? Guess so, sir. He taught us punctuality and respect. I think he was the best thing that happened to most of us, you know? That is true. So what's taking him so long? Well, we've waited long enough. Let's have a look around. I'm right behind you, sir. Interesting. So the reason they're actually here is for the headmaster. They're not even here for her. So, again, why the hell are they following her around? And also, where the hell's the headmaster? Okay, so I'm going to try and sneak into the school area and sneak up the pipe around the back. Though I don't know if I have enough time to do that before she leaves. But let's at least investigate. Okay, so at this far entrance here, I'm just going to try and create a little distraction for the guards. Whoa, what the hell was that? You guys should go over there and check it out. They're not quite moving as much as I need them to, just... Out of the way! Out of the way! Security business! Okay, you turn your back a little bit, and yeah, I can slip past. Let's make our way up here and... Oh. 
Oh, we have two guards posted right hmm. at the bottom of the pipe. What the hell? Those two guards are usually posted over uh, to the side, uh, on the other side of those crates. Okay, so that makes it a little more difficult to get up there. So essentially those guards just stay there the whole time and don't leave, so making getting up that pipe kind of, uh, well, almost impossible. Uh, let's see, I'm going to replan this and we'll try it a different way now. So I've done a quick replanning here and I've changed things up a little. I'm actually going to bring the tranquilizer gun with me as my main weapon, uh, the Requiem suit, classic lockpick, electrocution phone, and I'm even bringing in the uh, silver ballers in the headmaster's office. Let's give this a go. I've got a different idea here of how to approach this. Good afternoon, 47. So this time we have been unable the to alley, determine the target's specific location. Straight through. But she was sighted in the city center a few hours ago. Whatever you do, lock. don't accept a couple of This guard always starts in that position, so we Good are hunting. able to loop around behind him. Let's just cut across this way. Ready up our trank gun. And one for him. What's going on? And one for him. Bodies over here. You two. And up the pipe we go. So it does look like it is just her alone on the roof. Jump off the ledge. Just grab my silver baller. Now, what exactly are you up to up here? Wait a minute. That's the headmaster's hat. There's a crowbar. What did you do to the headmaster? Oh, poor headmaster, rest in peace. Oh, geez, they got up here quicker than I expected. Well, at least we can hear whatever conversation they're bound to have. And who might you be, Mama? I'm an old friend of Mr. Shaheen. We have known each other for ages. We exchange letters, you see. Real letters, not those ghastly electronic ones. We're pen pals. So, where is the headmaster? That's the thing, Colonel. I've come all this way to see him, and he's not here. And now I'm afraid something may have happened to that dear old man. Do you think I am in danger, too? Oh, I'm sure there's a perfectly natural explanation. Don't worry, madam. You're safe with us. That's very generous of you, Colonel. I could tell instantly just from looking at you that you're a real gentleman. In this world, with all this crime and evil, we all look to men like you, Colonel, for safety and protection. Actually, I'm not a colonel, ma'am. My rank is... That's wonderful, colonel. You know what? I might take you up on your offer. I would like to go to the market and look for some souvenirs. Tell me, do you like tea, colonel? Uh, well, actually, we have some other business to attend to. That's decided, then. Let's go, colonel. I'll make sure to mention your generosity to Mr. Shaheen, that darling old man. I really hope nothing happened to him. I can't thank you enough for doing this. Uh, well, I guess we could talk to Mr. Shaheen later. Are you serious? So the only reason she has an armed escort all over Marrakesh is simply because you wouldn't say no a second time? Jesus, dude, you're a pushover. Also, I'm pretty sure she's marked you as her next target. So, good luck with that. Okay, let's do that one more time, but we'll, you know, actually kill her this time. Good afternoon, 47. We have been unable so to determine the target. So immediately, I'm gonna push forward, grab this brick, location, get to the door. Sighted in the city center a few hours ago. Go through this one. This guard tries to see us, but he won't actually do that. Forty-seven. Good hunting. Get through this door. I'm just gonna get my trank and ready, and I'm just gonna dash across right here. The suspicion will go up, but they won't actually uh, see us. 
Same thing with dash across here. All right, one shot for you, and one shot for you. Oh. Wait, did I hit him? Oh, <laughs> okay, that was a weird delayed reaction. Okay, instead of trying to hide their bodies right now, I'm just gonna go right up the pipe. Last time I think I lost out on some of the time I could have had on the roof because I was messing around with the bodies and the guns down at the bottom. We're just gonna go to the ledge, make our way across here, around the corner. Jump down, and straight to Etta. Hey Etta, I uh, heard that you were wanting to see uh, more of Marrakesh. Huh? Well, I'm gonna fast track into the bottom, bitch! Target eliminated. <laughs> the money has been wired to your account. Eat it, bitch. You're not gonna be murdering anyone else anymore. Because you yourself have been murdered! <laughs> Alright, let's grab my silver baller. And get the hell out of here. Back across the ledge, around the corner. And across here. Now onto and down the pipe. Now let's get our phone and. Oh, no, actually, sorry, the brick. Give this guy a nice smash to the back of the head. Oh, that seemed painful. Please don't see him. Okay, thank God. Pull him up here. And drag these other bodies just over here, just in case somebody comes by in the next minute or so. Let's grab his gun as well, real quickly. And here's a uh, use for our cell phone, too. I'm just gonna toss that over there. Hey. Whoa, what the hell is that? Cell phone gun flying through the air? Oh crap, jeez. <laughs> Had I not been around this corner, he would have seen us there. Oh god, that would have been bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go check out the phone. It's just random phone come flying through the air. You should go see what it's all about. Okay, finally, perfect. And let's just dash down. Whoa, man, uh, leave my phone alone. That's mine. Uh, I dropped it. <laughs> Guard's probably wondering, what? But there was no one behind me. Where the hell did this guy come from? It's a mystery. He'll never know. Hello, come in. Let's make our way to the exit. And beautiful. That'll be a silent assassin suit only for the elusive target. Yep, silent assassin. Beautiful. Two minutes, 59 seconds. Very nice. Okay, so did it just under three minutes. I can live with that. So, there you go. That has been Elusive Target number 11, The Angel of Death, completed on Silent Assassin Suit Only. Overall, that one wasn't too bad. It's actually a fairly easy kill as long as you do it early on while she's still on the roof. If she goes down to the streets, that's a whole different thing because at that point she has a uh, reluctant armed escort and uh, there's people uh, looking from every direction. I was thinking, okay, maybe I could kill her with the phone, but I do try and avoid using the phone as much as possible unless I can do something funny and creative with it. But aside from that, yeah, get her on the roof before she leaves and you're good to go. Anyway, I hope you found that video helpful, or at least enjoyable. If you did, please go ahead and leave a like down below as well as comment on the video, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel, as I will always be bringing you great Hitman 2 content in the future, as well as covering all the elusive targets. For now though, this is Infinite Omega. I've been Black Deatha, this has been Hitman 2, elusive target number 16, the Angel of Death, killed with a fall kill, silent assassin suit only. Thank you so much for watching everyone, you guys have yourselves an amazing day. Goodbye.